All right, everybody. <clears throat> Just got out here after work. It's Friday. I do have to work tomorrow, which is Saturday, which I, I do need that day to set some more traps. But um, I'm down here at that small pond. They said it, it only goes right over to there. Very, very small pond. I set it up the first day. Here's their lodge. First day I walked up here, one comes shooting out of that run right over there. And I opted not to put a 330 there. There's another run here, which I did. You can see the H stand over there and the H stand here. I just put them up two days ago. And uh, here's one caster mound here. The one over there is where I caught that 50 pounder. Um, but I only caught, I caught two beavers the first day. I even got up on this lodge and jumped around yesterday to see if something would come out of there, but there's nothing moving here and I haven't had a snap trap. I got another caster mound right here. And uh I don't know. I've only caught I caught a 50 pounder and the other one was 18 pounds. So it's really hard for me to believe. There's a caster mound, there's a trap down there, there's one more over there. That's where I caught the small one in that caster mound. So I don't see anything freshly chewed. They're obviously not coming in and out of this lodge. So I think tomorrow I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull out of here. I just, I have a hard time believing that there's only two beavers, but I've walked all the way around this thing. I mean, it is very small and it's barely deep enough to even put a drowning rod in. It's not deep along the edges. So I, it's frustrating. I, I thought I would, I would get them when I put those 330s there, but they haven't even been to a caster mount, ain't snapped a trap, nothing. So what I think I'm going to do is tomorrow when I get off work, I'm going to pull these. And uh, that spot I was at before I went to Montana, and then I went back there for a couple days when I got back from Montana and didn't see anything fresh there. Well, the farmer dug out that dam and he built it back. They built it back the next day. I just talked to him. He's he's gone. He's out of the country right now on vacation. So he said he won't do anything. He promised me he would not do anything. I'm gonna go back down there and set some traps. He will not do anything until he hears back from me that I've caught the beaver out of there. I don't want another episode like the last the last one. I told him I said I'm not gonna set any traps. You're gonna be in there digging, and he he promised me that he will not do anything until he hears back from me. So that's the plan. That other creek where I left that 330 that was in that neck down spot where I caught that one in my buddy's, my late friend's Belisle. That creek came up way, way high because uh, we had a bad storm, a lot of rain, and it was it was completely submerged underwater, so it was not neck down anymore. And uh, so I pulled that, and I pulled that other drowning rod where I caught the last beaver there because it was way underwater, so it wasn't worth driving over there to check one trap. When I'm gonna be back there anyway later on another stretch of that creek, so. I think I'm going to pull these tomorrow and go back down there where I was at before I went to Montana. I'm, I'm just really stumped that I thought I would catch more than two here. I, it just makes no sense. But I mean, I, it's just a gut feeling of mine that there's still beaver here. But the landowner told me she's seen one. And I told her if there's one, there's more than one. Which I caught two the first day and, and then nothing since. No snap traps, nothing. So Just wanted to give you a little overview of what's going on here like i said i did put the 330s in on these runs they're smack dab in the middle with them eight stands there's no way a beaver could come out of those runs without getting caught or you would think they would snap one of the caster mounds or at least get caught so that's what we're doing so stay tuned pick you back up tomorrow all right everybody Whew. i'm trying to hustle here i'm i'm short on time I had to work today, Saturday, but uh, that's okay. Um, I talked to the farmer, the farm's here, and I was in here trapping before Montana, before I left for Montana, and I caught five beaver out of here, and I thought for sure that there was another male in here, or another adult, and uh, I would come back after I got back from Montana, and set a couple traps for a couple days, didn't see nothing new, so I pulled them and had to go on some other jobs. But, Ah, uh, the farmer dug this out. Well, he dug the dam out down there further. 
he's got his big excavator sitting there but i did talk to him and he told me to get in here and, and catch these beaver he's out of the country right now on vacation so that helps but he absolutely assured me that he would not come back in here and touch anything until i told him i was out of here so there's a dam that they built um i just put this caster mound in right here i could see beaver tracks right here and they were coming up in here so i put a caster mound right there it drops off real far but what's kind of neat is if you can see this if i can zoom in right there is where i had a caster mound you can see the trap bed barely caster mounds up there a little bit higher this dam was not here i'll try to throw a picture in of me catching a i caught a couple big beaver right here but this dam was not here so he said he was here six days and dug the dam out down there and they built this back the next day right here so like i said this dam was not here when i was in here the first time so i put this caster mound right here got dan davis's alpha delta on there gonna just absolutely piss him off came over here another caster mound right here trap right there going out there in the deep water um i know there was another there was another trap bed over there where i had another caster mound previously because i was on the other side this time he told me to drive in on the other side of the from the road and we'll see if that helps i mean i got back in here further and closer with the jeeps right there so this water was all there was water all out in this field before so he, he did get the water down and then over here on this dam sorry about the rustling the camera around like i said i'm in a hurry i gotta get home and get cleaned up we got the wild turkey federation banquet tonight hopefully that'll that should this is always a good time but you can see this crossover right here i put a 330 it's actually that 330 belial that i of my old my path Ugh, i can't even talk Whew. my late friends that i caught that other beaver in so got 330 belial right there blocking that down there further is where their big dam was the last time so i'm going to drive down there and check that might throw in a couple more sets if i got time so yeah exciting we're back at them hopefully we get them i'd really like to get them out of here for these guys because they had that field flooded back there like 40 acres of field flooded they couldn't even pick the corn so stay tuned if i put any more sets in i will bring you back but if not i'll bring you back tomorrow for sure for the checks i'm hoping hoping for some beaver here tomorrow beautiful day it's like 60 some degrees i mean just a beautiful beautiful day and tomorrow's supposed to be real nice too and i don't have to work so i'm gonna have all day to work on whatever i'm gonna do here and maybe another location so we're back after the beavers we're gonna start loading them up we got to make a big push here before the end of season i got a month ago so stay tuned all right everybody i'm out at a new new location the guy bought this fishing pond he's got beaver bombs in here he, i came out here yesterday and set it up but uh i just couldn't film it because it was so ungodly windy yesterday i just pulled in here first time i just got off work and uh i see the first trap the beaver out there he uh he was up here on the bank he pulled the bottom of the drowning rod up out he was up here on the bank so i uh i shot him but so he's i didn't know what he had going on i just see him on the bank so i shot him he's he's gonna just be dispatched here pretty shortly Whew, that scared me a little bit i i thought he was gonna pull that drowning rod out into the water but then i seen it was it was still staked up here so yeah i put in a bunch of a bunch of sets here he's definitely got a problem here i mean they're chewing off all his ornamental trees around here and I got another set right over here. That was just, I just seen, that was the second set that I put in. And I don't see the trap here either, unless there's, it should be right there. There might be a bunch of stuff on it. Oh, 
you know what? I see, I see fur out there. There's another one right out there. <laughs> Score. Man. I told him I'd come in here and help him. Let me get out there. to the day first two traps two beavers and I got that other spot I set up traps there yesterday I might be pretty busy skinning and I stay tuned all right everybody I got that one pulled up out of there I don't know he's a big beaver big beaver that's a nice one too but that one's pretty good size I don't know what the weight is yet but son of a gun bet my uh, bet my drowning rod pretty good Just, it might not be deep enough right there, but uh, yeah, it's a nice beaver. First day, I just want to say uh, yesterday when I got home, before I come out and set these, got in the mail, I got a special gift from Dan Davis, the Alpha Delta caster lure, Judith and Dan Davis. Beaver lure made with pride, and I'll tell you what, this stuff works wonders. First day, every time you'll catch them. Um, he just made a new batch. He's told me it's got a spring additive into it. And he's still got some, so I'll leave all the information in the description of this video. But get a hold of Dan and you'll, you won't be sorry. If you're, if you're still beaver trapping and you're not using this, yeah, I would get some. I would definitely get some. This is uh, number 29 and number 30 for me for the year, all on his lure. And uh, he, uh, he sent me this. This was a special gift for me. He sent me a nice little note with it saying that, you know, I've been helping him with sales and he told me welcome to his pro staff. So <laughs> that's a pretty big, uh, that's, that just speaks volumes. I mean, that's huge for Dan Davis to think that much of me. I mean, he's one of the best beaver trappers you'll ever see. Go watch his channel. Watch what he does down there in Mississippi. Holy cow, he, he knows how to catch beaver now. I'm, and I learned most of what I'm doing by watching him and other, other channels. But mostly him. I mean, he really knows how to catch the beaver. And he knows how to make some good lure. So go check him out. Um, like I said, I'll leave all this information in the description of this video. So we got all right, everybody. Let's get down here to the other spot. I checked the traps up there, nothing. One over here was plugged with an incidental muskrat. Two traps here, one on the dam, nothing there, nothing there. That one looked like it had been messed with. And the one where the muskrat was in it looked like uh there were some beaver tracks maybe after he after the muskrat got caught. If I get to this one right here, this mound. I can see something big and dark down there. That looks like a big big beaver right there so we'll get him pulled up here and I don't know if you can see him down there yeah that's a big beaver down there this is this is a good day That's 
what I'm talking about. Uh, look at this guy. Big old beast of a beaver. <laughs> Oh man, I love it. What a good day. Three big beaver today. Woo! Alpha Delta, baby. Alpha Delta. That's all I can say. Get you some, for sure. Oh, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Just, I enjoyed uh, bringing it to you. Big old tail on it. Yeah. That's what we're looking for right here. We got to get them out of here. But uh, really appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate all your support. Go check out Dan Davis. Thank you, Dan, for the awesome lure. Go get you some of that if you haven't got it yet, because it works. So until the next video, and I'm hoping it's soon, because I hope tomorrow we stack them up again. So until the next video, good luck with everything.